Hello, Silly Bakers. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Nini, and I love to create healthier recipes. So today we are making something that is so fantastic. It is a high protein cottage cheese banana pudding. Um, I tested this recipe last week and I'm so glad that I did because it has uh, become a favorite already um, in my home. It is so simple to make. Everything goes into a blender. Um, I'm adding only half a banana so it's not too, too sweet. Um, I did add two softened dates um, to give it that additional sweetness, but also a little fiber. Um, I also added some chia seeds, again, for some fiber and some uh, omegas and some protein, um, a little collagen powder, which you can omit if you wish, but it does up the protein on this as well. Um, we are also, we're doing a combination of cottage cheese and Greek yogurt. More cottage cheese than Greek yogurt. The Greek yogurt, because it really adds to that creaminess. You don't have to use it. You can use just cottage cheese if you like. It's going to be blended, uh, but that Greek yogurt really does give it that pudding kind of feel. Um, we're also going to do an incredible little pecan coconut crumble uh, to go on top. Um, again, that is optional, but this really does elevate this and really brings it to that dessert uh, kind of world. Um, but listen, you can really also have this with the crumble for breakfast or as a post-workout snack. It's 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 a good for you kind of recipe, so you don't have to feel guilty about eating this. Um, it lasts in the fridge a few days. If it does separate a little bit, just give it a good mix and it'll come back together. Um, so uh, I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do. So before we get to the recipe, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys know when um, I'm posting my videos. Thank you guys so much for sharing our videos. It really does help our channel grow. Um, and uh, again, thank you guys for your support. So why don't we take a few minutes and learn how to make this incredible banana cottage cheese pudding. First thing, we are going to pit two large dates. And I'm going to add just recently boiled water over the dates, enough to cover them. And then we are going to set that aside to soak for 10 minutes. That'll really soften the dates. Next, we're going to grab a pan and we are going to toast our pecans. After about three minutes of toasting, I'm going to add one teaspoon of salted butter. You can use unsalted butter and then just add a pinch of salt as well. And I'm just going to coat the nuts in the butter. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of shredded unsweetened coconut. I'm then gonna turn off the heat, let the residual heat brown the coconut a little and then we're just going to add the rest of our ingredients a pinch or so of cinnamon just a little vanilla about a quarter teaspoon and then i'm adding a teaspoon of maple syrup and we're just going to mix that remember the heat is off here and we're just going to mix that until everything is incorporated and then i'm going to get this off the heat i'm going to transfer that to a bowl to let it cool completely Next, we're gonna make our pudding. I'm adding my soaked dates to my blender. I'm going to add my cottage cheese. That's three quarters of a cup of cottage cheese, a quarter cup of Greek yogurt, half of a soft banana, and I'm adding half a tablespoon of chia and half a serving of collagen powder. Just a little vanilla. I'm gonna add about a half a teaspoon or so. This is Sassy Cathy's Vanilla Extract. I will leave uh, a link in my description box. It is one of my favorites. And just a dash of cinnamon, about an eighth of a teaspoon. And now we're gonna blend. We're gonna blend until it's really, really smooth. I'm going to transfer that to a bowl. So I cut up the other half of a banana and I'm gonna add it to the top. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. And now I'm just going to add just a touch of cinnamon on top. And lastly, I'm going to add my cooled crumble.
enjoy our high protein banana cottage cheese pudding. so good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more healthy recipes. If you do try this high protein banana cottage cheese pudding, let me know in the comments below. Also, the measurements and ingredients for this recipe and for all of my recipes are in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and happy baking.